Gans, how's it? Welcome, Fizzle. Yeah. How's it? Okay, man. Are you uh, wanting to find out? I know what you guys are doing here. Wanting to find out what am I doing here again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, so just briefly, um, I think that we, Mr. Jogi decided to just fly me down because there's a lot of issues going on again in Durban. And, uh, and there's issues in Cape Town because I just walked in. I didn't know Mr. Ahmed Baruch is already waiting here. And when I see him, I know that uh, the Rottweilers are around, he's just <laughs> in Cape Town. But uh, Mr. Jogi, just, um, uh, firstly, I came in for an inter uh, our internal uh, matter that we're doing from a corporate point of view. Uh, we've got some of our team flying in from Cape Town and Johannesburg and we've got some business that we're doing here. But uh, I know that last night you told me that this was some social issues that needs to be taken up on the show that's happening here at the moment. Okay. What, what I've done basically is I've had to get Faisal to come in. Uh, there's a couple of issues that, that are pending in Durban that really needs our attention as a television uh, channel. Uh, so we, we decided to take those up. It's part of our social responsibility. Uh, very simply putting it, this flacker drug that's actually going around at the moment, uh, it's actually frightening. Really, I mean, the way that they, they, they describe it, uh, demonic, I think is the perfect description for it. So as a television channel, I think we need to create a bit of awareness on the drugs, the effects it actually has. It's a scrooge of society. I've never seen anything as bad as I've seen on, on YouTube and various other platforms that are showing what this drug does. But I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that some of the mainstream uh, news channels are not playing this the way it should be played. So we decided we're going to take this up and we're going to, we're going to create a program out of it. Uh, and we're going to be going to some re drug rehab centers and talking to them about what effects the drugs are having, where it's available, what the warning signs are with those that are using the drug. But more importantly, it's just creating an awareness so the public and basically the general public can actually stay away from these things. And more importantly is to warn the children against this drug and make sure that it doesn't happen to them. And I don't think any one of us, one of us want to actually uh, have our children or people of our society get involved in this drug. That's just the one issue. The other issue that surfaced this ugly head again is this halal issue that has been going on. And we're giving the opportunity to um, halal certification bodies in Durban to come into the studio on Wednesday between 8.30 and 10 o'clock and give us their view of what the halal issue is. Faisal posed a whole lot of questions on that. And I think I'm going to leave it to you to actually elaborate on what is happening with the halal issue. Uh, and the third thing also is uh, Mr. Ahmed Park has decided to pop his head in. I think he learned that Faisal is here. So that's another issue that we're going to be tackling. So uh, from a awareness perspective, Dean Channel is actually taking everything that's happening around us very seriously and we're hoping that that will make a difference to what's happening in our society in the different regions, not specifically Durban. Uh, Durban's obviously pretty bad with the drug issue at the moment in Chatsworth, Phoenix and in Wentworth. So we're hoping that the, the public will be, be made aware of what is going on, obviously stay away from it. So I'm going to just let Faisal tell you exactly what the plan is. Uh, so, the, so I kind of want to just dig into the flag issue specifically. I think the drug thing uh, around the country is a problem and it has been around the world. But what I'm disappointed in is that flag specifically has arrived in Durban. And so I picked that up, so I think as I landed, I heard that Flacker landed too. And so that is, I think, something that, like Mr. Jovi is saying, I think that we as a broadcaster and as a TV show, we have a responsibility to educate. Uh, that's the furthest we can go and that's what we're going to do. Uh, Jamila, have you been doing some research on Flacker? Um, we've been watching the videos that have been going viral with regards to the effects of it. Um, it's not just a South African based drug, it's the globally affected. No, it's coming from overseas, that's true. Everywhere. Sure. Um, we've, um, heard that it's being developed in China, being transported via email, that type of thing. And people can get it really cheap. So we just need to bring people aware of um, what's going on and how to stay away and protect their relatives and family members from, from the effects of this drug. Yeah. Mr. Baruch, uh, I saw you in Cape Town last week. I didn't expect to see you here so soon. Uh, but uh, how's things going on the mortuary side? Because there's a number of issues, as you can see. It's, uh, Mr. Jogi brought up the allow issue, which were we're dealing with, it's the drug issue, uh, and then, I don't know if we are, we did the Department of Social Services or something, because I feel like we're the Department of Social Services at times, and then from trying to save the living, to ensuring that the living eats accordingly, to dealing with you when you die. <laughs> That's, we're doing the full run. <laughs> so, Mr. Baruch. Uh, after the uh, Cape Town trip, which was very successful, 
Uh, the latest update I've got is as of last night, um, the burial societies in Cape Town have unified and they've come under the one umbrella body to the numbers we have from last Saturday to last night. We have got 28 registered members in the Western Cape now. It's a fully fledged organization. So, you know, we are pleased that uh, we have got the uh, show on the road. And uh, I also got a call yesterday from uh, Sheikh Fatah from MZAC uh, pleading with me to say that the organization was for 76 years and they have looked after uh, the aspects of all various burial societies and therefore they now uh, pleading with me says you know what we need to join them and talk to them so we are looking at all the angles and I don't think it is appropriate now to we have put the motion we have put the wheels in motion to go back and, 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 and unwind what we have already started I think uh, burial is a uh, specialist field we have to do it on a specialized, uh, specialized basis and therefore I think uh, we will be successful in the Western Cape. Um, well, I don't want to delay on the issue and or, deal, or go too deep into what's going on, uh, but um, are you prepared to uh, also collaborate with, with the MGC in trying to resolve some of the issues there? They, we had a, uh, they have invited us, uh, we will obviously will uh, talk to them, but we will go on an independent basis, that's what you will be able to do. Okay. Uh, thank you guys, I think that briefs you on what we're doing in Durban, and uh, we'll update you as we go along all these issues. Thank you.